What's going on guys, Shady Mike Gaming, and welcome to another episode of Modding Monday. This is a series where I take you through my favorite, or yeah, I would just say the most notable NBA 2K20 mods that stuck out to me. Uh, we don't do it every Monday, but we are doing it this Monday. So uh, if you are new to the channel, definitely feel free to hit that subscribe button. And if you're not new to the channel, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate it. But uh, without further ado, before we get into these mods, just a quick disclaimer. All of these mods are only available on the PC version of NBA 2K20. I got a lot of questions on Twitter and Instagram, both at Shady Mike Gaming, by the way. Um, about if you can get mods on console the answer to that is no none of these mods are available on console nor will they ever be however um, if you are a console player and was looking to see what are the pros and cons of playing on PC this type of video is a good place to look just to show some of the advantages of some of the things we got going on over here in the PC master race also, if you are a PC user who needs help installing some of these mods, I did make a very lengthy tutorial um, detailing the basics of installing these mods. Definitely take a look at that. It's on my channel. Um, and other than that, guys, let's get right into the mods. So first, we're going to look at some cyber faces and uh, we're, we're going to call these the, the the quarantine edition cyber faces and we got three really big ones here um, we don't know if we'll ever actually see them play with these looks but this is awesome so I really want to share these with you first and foremost we have De'Aaron Fox yes that's right this De'Aaron Fox made by a modern named Vin Dragon De'Aaron Fox he chopped it Oh my goodness, when I saw this mod come out, I'm like, nah, there's no way this is real. No way De'Aaron Fox took <laughs> took the hair off, and but yes, he did. He's rocking the buzz. Um, look, De'Aaron Fox, one of my favorite players in the league. Definitely, you know, one of the fastest players in the league. Definitely cut from that. John Wall, um, Prime Derrick Rose, Russell Westbrook. Uh, model um, I'm curious to see by the time the NBA comes back if we'll see him playing with this cut um, or heck it might have all, all grown back by the time we have the NBA back who knows though maybe this cut will make him more aerodynamic less less wind resistance and he'll be even faster but this is just an awesome awesome mod um, and, and oh my goodness they they, re they really snap shout out to uh, Vin Dragon on this with uh, the new cut um, next, we have this Tyler Hero by TG So Good. And let me just tell you guys something right now. TG has made some ridiculous mods this year. He's a baller. He's he's just big time this year. Oh my goodness, he's come out with so many crazy mods. And um, yes, the internet was shocked when Tyler um, did get this cut. Um, I personally am a fan of it. I think it looks great. Um, I know a lot of people were burning him on Twitter and stuff like that, but look, dude's a grown man, can wear his hair however the heck he wants. Things a little bit weird to be getting at a guy for the way he wears his hair, but this is his quarantine look, and if you want to replicate that in the game, uh, TG So Good made that possible, and he did a great job with this mod, in my opinion. And the last and probably the craziest one, um, you have the LeBron James, aka Homeless Man Beard look. Um, this is just an awesome mod. Um, this mod is made by a modder named LAE2K. So, um, shout out to them giving LeBron the uh, the quarantine look. I don't know that this is something that you'll play long term with, but uh, if you just want to mix up the way LeBron looks, uh, that is an option for you. All right, so with those out of the way, we're going to take a look at some more cyber faces. This one right here is a Drew Holiday cyber face by a modder named Taco. I featured him on the channel before. Uh, this one is really cool because it's a dual cyber face. So if you take a look at it, he actually, when his hair, when he's not wearing a headband, his hair is out kind of like the mini fro type thing. But when he's wearing the headband or the head tie, whatever you want to call it, um, it actually goes into the cornrows. So that's a really cool touch there. Um, updated body model as well. So, you know, awesome mod. Uh, for one of my favorite players as well, Drew Hade, great defender, all-around point guard. Oh my goodness, I'm a big fan. So uh, moving forward, I also wanted to showcase two mods 
by a modder named VC Heart 2K20. Now, uh, this his mods are a little bit interesting because he, uh, from what I can see, only shares his mods on a Facebook group. It's a private group, and for the most part, most of his mods are for sale. So you will see his mods going for eight to ten, all the way up to I, I think the highest one I saw was about twelve dollars. Um, so you know, however, the you know first and foremost, I want to say his mods are extremely high quality. Um, so, you know, definitely have no problem with him um, charging for his time and his work um, for sure. But the cool thing about his uh, group, his Facebook group, is he does have a free mod section. And we're going to be showing off two mods uh, by him from the free section. Me personally, I'm not really into paying for mods. Um, you know, I paid $60 for the game. So, you know, I'm not really into paying more for mods. Um, however, he's got um, a couple, some really awesome cyber faces in his free section, so feel free to check that out. And um, if you are into paying for mods, um, they're definitely they're high quality, definitely worth it in my opinion. Um, so first and foremost, by VC Heart, we're going to take a look at his Ben Simmons, and you can see it is head headband compatible. Um, you know, it's got a nice texture, awesome updated face. You can definitely see he touched up the hair, the beard. Um, looks very good, very realistic. And then next, um, he also dropped what is in my opinion the best Devin Booker that I've seen around really um Devin Booker is big time of a player he is big time scorer I'm just surprised that we haven't seen someone do a better job at touching him up but uh very happy to see um this and I will be using both of these mods um in my game so um big ups to VC Heart um definitely check his page out if you are a fan of that um, next, I want to show off this Andre Drummond cyber face from a modder named Emma Emna Show 2K. Now, this is an awesome mod. As you can see, it's got the new hairstyle, um, and it's also headband compatible. Um, this is where, you know, to be honest, I'm not even sure if this is what Andre Drummond's hair looks like. I just know he used to have kind of that afro. Um, I low key forgot Andre Drummond was even on the Cavs. I, you know, I remember him in Detroit. I don't watch Cavs games. I don't remember if his hair is like that or not. But this could have also been with the other quarantine mods. I'm not sure. I just thought it was an awesome, cool looking mod and wanted to share it with you guys. And I think um, you guys can definitely appreciate this one for sure. Um, next up, we've got a mod um, for Reggie Jackson by a modder named JH13000. Um, and as you can see, this is just a touch up. Um, actually, I don't even know if I want to call it a touch up, more of a revamp of Reggie Jackson, who every year is one of the most uh, overlooked players when it comes to 2K updating their faces. Um, he, every year he looks weird. He looks like an alien. And, um, you know, I, I think that this mod really does a good job of showing exactly what he looks like in real life as opposed to you know kind of the weird way they got him looking on the 2k default so great mod here um reggie jackson really good bench point guard um big fan of his as well hope he flourishes on the clippers um so this is an awesome mod feel free to check this one out so moving on into the must have mods in my opinion these are more utility type mods um we're going to be taking a look at a wilson ball made by marto luther now this is really interesting because the nba if you didn't know recently ended their partnership with spalding so they will be moving i believe in 2021 to a Wilson ball so Marto Luther shout out to him um, he's really come on to the scene this year to be one of the biggest most impactful modders of the year um, he's also a moderator in um, my 2k 20 discord server um, shameless plug join the movement <laughs> um, so uh, he took it upon himself to use kind of use his imagination of what this ball is going to look like um, that we'll be playing with going forward. He did a fantastic job. He's been doing a fantastic job all year. He's retextured so many classic players. I, mean, I have a couple of those rolling down the screen now. Um, he's done such a good job this year. Definitely check his mods out. Um, he's been doing a fantastic job. Um, next, we have this TNT Studio presentation by Natkra90. This is an awesome mod that just adds that overall TNT uh, look, the TNT presentation. 
Um, there are obviously uh, multiple TNT scoreboards available. So, you know, really, you can get really creative with this. And I actually want to share with you guys um, this classic TNT scoreboard um, that I found. And I apologize, I actually don't remember um, who made this. Um, I posted it up in the Discord. I will go back and find who made it, and um, above will be posted um, who the mod author is for that. Um, but speaking of our Discord, um, I do want to share a mod by Stove. Um, this mod right here is a Discord exclusive mod. Um, obviously, it's not going to stay that way, but he released it first, did us a favor, released it first on the discord this is a custom city jersey for the denver nuggets with a custom court as you can see this is just an awesome freaking awesome design by stove um if you guys don't know what stove does he, he really um specializes in fictional jerseys fictional mods for teams um and he's just snapped on this one um let me tell you something in my opinion the stove has been you know, I, and I, again, I'm not sure if he was modding this prior to this year, but I can tell you this year he's come on the scene crazy and he's come out with some of the craziest mods this year. And um, I know there's going to be a lot more fire coming down the road. Um, you can see all of, you know, what he's working on, things of that nature in his thread on NLSC. Um, and he's also um, one of the moderators on our Discord server. So I um, really appreciate him for everything he's done for the 2K community this year, man. He's he's a baller. He's a big time modder this year. So um, definitely want to um, shout him out for that. So to end this video, um, we are going to take a look at our feature mod for the day and this mod is made by uh like you know in my opinion one of the most impactful modders oh wait i already said that that's right this mod is also made by stove and this is um a celtics boston celtics kind of green and gold revamp reimagining of their jerseys oh my this guy snapped if you look at this court that comes with these jerseys just the detail and i know a lot of people may be thrown off but, but that's what we that's what stove does is custom it's fictional um i think the gold is an awesome touch i know some people might be scared to touch the classic celtic screen i know i know but i'm a huge fan of these jerseys they will be used in my game so definitely look forward to seeing more gameplay um and things like that because this is definitely going in for me just awesome awesome job these jerseys are crazy just add such an awesome touch to the game all right guys thank you so much for tuning in to this mod showcase um if you guys are interested in modding be sure to join our discord it is lit right now we're pushing five hundred members strong but we're not just talking pc mods we're talking rosters we're talking sliders they got a league started um, we're talking other games it's a great place to connect um i really want to build this space up into a place where we can all connect and just have fun and talk 2k um that's going to be awesome um, and also, I wanted to let you guys know, uh, well, first and foremost, the link for that is going to be in the description, number one. Number two, I wanted to let you guys know that I also made a second channel called Shady Plays. I really want to keep this channel focused to 2K content. So anytime I'm playing another game, the Call of Duties, um, you know, The Last of Us is about to come out, Ghost of Tsushima, any of those games that I'm playing, um, I'm going to be playing on that channel. I'll drop a link over there. Feel free to subscribe to that. That would be really cool. And last but not least, guys, um, I know I showed a picture of my, my setup on Twitter and Instagram. Um, I did add a donation link into the channel. Um, if you know anything I've done in terms of sliders or mods has helped you guys out, I'm um, really appreciate if you hit that link. But listen, times are tough right now. Do not overextend yourself because I wanted to just say so many of you guys have reached out and helped me when I first put it in my description. It's just crazy. And the support from you guys has been 
unimaginable and I never thought like you know that I would get so much support and I just wanted to let you guys know that any money that I do get via donations or anything like that is going to be reinvested directly into my setup directly into this channel so that I can continue to make content for you guys and hopefully make even better content for you guys um, we're pushing we're about to get 5,000 subscribers I really want to keep this growing because I'm one of the only channels that kind of is on like this sim side of 2k and I just want to keep it growing and and see what happens but other than that guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for the support you guys you mean the world to me um and yeah other than that guys stay safe i'm out shady mike